I wanted to show you the last of the uh, corn harvest here, 2021. We'll go up and look in the combine and uh, give you the, the official tour. We had a little mechanical problem the other night and I had to stop, but uh, for now, we're in good shape. I'm just waiting on a couple trucks to show up in a few hours and then I'll start combining and by midnight I should have it all done. Um, showing off my corn. It's real clean. I mean, it looks real good. There's probably about 400 bushels in here right now. Wind full to the top, to the top of these tip-ups. It's 425. And then the grain cart there probably has 500 in it. And a semi will take 1,100, give or take. Um, so I'm just doing some math here on this whole field. You can see in front of you and then off to the right through the trees. There's 24 acres. And I still have about... Nine hundred bushels, I think, six acres out there, still the combine. Um, so I'm going to have two trucks come here, and then I will have to drive the combine back to 13th Street, which is a mile or two that way back home. And I still have a little bit, six or seven acres to combine over there. So I'll take some of that corn to top off the second of the two trucks here. That's the. Uh, my commute for tonight if the trucks can come he said it's been real good so far but i'm hoping to get this off uh, before it's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon if it doesn't come off today or tonight uh, there's still a few windows still a few days of decent weather there's no snow supposed to come but um just uh, it's it's been relatively successful so far i'm, I'm happy with how it's turned out uh the combine aside from that one glitch was really uh, has, has performed really well. Um, I've taken the tarp off here and you can see it's, it's tied up in the front because to get over here there's some low-lying trees and I didn't think it could make it underneath. It maybe could but I didn't want to tear a hole in it so I took it off and uh, the weather's held up. And, uh, you can see a bunch of the snag trees in the woods here. We had big wind storms and they're still Big windstorms two years ago. Next year, this will be uh, forage peas in the spring, and we're going to plant Kernza, uh, perennial wheat, Kernza, perennial grain, like a wheat, Kernza here. All for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.